Hey everybody, welcome back. All right, so this is part six of the yellow swap into this 1976 C3 Corvette. If you're new around here, go ahead and click on the playlist. It'll get you up to speed as far as everything that's transpired up to this point. So uh, what I want to do is um, I want to verify oil pressure before we you know, really take any other steps in, uh, as far as getting it into the car. You know, when I bought this thing, um, the seller seemed pretty honest, but again, in, in in this day and age, you never know what you're gonna get. So I feel pretty confident that we're gonna have a good engine, but I just wanna make sure we have good oil pressure and we have no strange sounds coming from the engine. Cause if you remember, one of the things we did, we we uh, swapped out the oil pan to make sure that we're not gonna have a interference issue with it. And we also changed the oil ring. On the pickup tube going to the oil pump and i know if you look online there's a huge debate about as far as what oil ring you're supposed to use and blah blah blah, blah. and basically there's great debates and whatever so i just want to make sure uh, before we continue any further that we roll this thing over and we have good oil pressure right so uh so what we're gonna do is i have it all set up and basically what we're doing is got the battery out of the corvette and I'm using the factory wiring uh, that came with the truck. Basically, we're going off the positive over to the starter and then going from the ground or the negative side over to the uh, back of the head. And uh, as far as my trigger wire, I'm just using a house switch. And again, it's something that I had lying around readily available. And uh, so all I'm doing is it's a single pole switch and we have a wire going to the exciter or the uh whatever you want to call it on the uh on the starter and then we have the other side going to 12 volts which is right down there so when i flip the switch we'll have 12 volts applied the starter will engage the engine will rotate so what i've done is i've uh, removed the spark plugs to make sure that the starter isn't uh, fighting compression on the engine i just want to make sure that we get this thing rolling over uh, pretty well and go from there. As far as measuring oil pressure, what I've done is I've taken the uh, the factory oil sending unit out and I've installed an ICT uh, billet adapter because what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using the factory gauges on the Corvette for oil pressure. And one of the things you have to do is you have to buy the adapter and then uh, there's another thing that you have to buy to for the oil sending unit that's currently on the 350 and then we'll swap it over so as far as monitoring oil pressure or measuring oil pressure what you can do is you can buy like a single use gauge for like 20 bucks hook it up with a little nylon line and then you can measure oil pressure and everything else um but again those things are like 20 bucks and uh, it's kind of like a single use thing and uh you know it's really not a good value so what I did is I went to Harbor Freight and actually what they do is they actually sell this oil pressure gauge kit and it actually comes in with a bunch of fittings. So you can actually, let's see if we get this thing open, right? So there's a bunch of different fittings so you can hook it up to whatever you want and then monitor oil pressure. So what we've done is we, we went that route and uh, so this thing was 30 bucks, $10 more than a, uh, just one of those little stupid gauges. And then you have the tool. So, uh, like I said, we have the spark plugs removed. So why don't we go ahead and uh, apply 12 volts, roll the engine over, and see how we're doing. Right, so 32 pounds of oil pressure. That is great news, and I'm very happy because not only do we have good oil pressure, it kind of solidifies what we did in the oil pan, and that we don't have any issues. I didn't hear any strange noises coming out of the engine, so we're doing pretty good. So, at this point, I'm pretty confident that we're ready to move forward and uh, start button this thing up. Um, I did buy a bunch of ga gaskets and everything else and whatever, but. Again, nothing really exciting on that. Pretty much that's, you know, if you're doing something like this, um, might as well get some gaskets because I did check everything out before I bought them and everything was pretty flat. So I said, you know what, 
Gaskets, gaskets are pretty cheap on Rock Auto for the 100 bucks for valve covers and intake gaskets and throttle body gasket. It's worth it. You know, might as well do it now because the engine's out, so it's not that much money. So, but again, I'm not tearing the engine apart to do head gaskets or anything like that. That's just insane. So, yeah, so at this point, we are ready to move forward and start disassembly of that 350 and start getting it out of there and go from there. Uh, at this point, I'm pretty sure I have everything I need to get it in there. Um, one thing I'm going to do is now that I know we have good oil pressure, I'm going to send the uh, ECU out to uh, out to a company to get it flashed and remove vats and, and everything else. So there will be more on that on the next video. And then the next thing I have to decide what I'm going to do about a harness, but I'm pretty sure I already know what I'm going to do. So more about on that in the next video. All right. So, yeah, so this is a good sign. If there's any questions, comments, whatever, you know what to do. Leave me a comment, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, thanks for watching, and have a great day. See ya.